From learning at home to going back to school and then back home again. COVID-19 is forcing one middle Georgia school district to close its doors again. Here's 41 NBC's Chip Matthews. Jeffersonville Elementary and Twiggs County had all of its students back in school following a staggered reopening. However, Monday morning, the school district found out a teacher has COVID-19 forcing Superintendent Elgin Dixon to close the school. We notified parents um, collectively through our robocall system. Um, we called all of our bus drivers to be on alert. Um, we fed our students before we sent them home um, for today. And we immediately um, implemented our virtual program uh, for the remainder of the week. Twigs used a phase return to school and just welcomed the return of its last group of students. Dixon says the quick closure may present problems for some families, but the district is trying to help out as much as possible. We're going to provide lunch um, for them for the remainder of the week um, on tomorrow. We'll deliver it for the rest of the remainder of the week. The closure comes just two weeks before Bibb County, one of the largest school districts in middle Georgia, welcomes its students back. Superintendent Dr. Curtis Jones shared two reasons why he doesn't want parents to let COVID-19 cases in middle Georgia school systems affect their decision. We have protocols in place that will help us, one, identify if a student has a fever, has a cough, has been in close contact or is testing positive, and that we're going to isolate and take care of that student as well as all the other students in our school system. An option Twiggs County could not use. We could not um, just take a class and then just put them off by themselves because they are affected. They affect other students K-12. According to Dixon, Jeffersonville elementary students share buses with middle and high school students. He says closing the school this week was the best option. Dr. Jones says Jeffersonville elementary's closure serves as a reminder. Reminds me that we are in a community, that we are not isolated. Dixon says if there's another COVID-19 case after students return, the district will re-implement a similar plan. In Jeffersonville, Chip Matthews, 41 NBC News. And all of Jeffersonville Elementary students returned last week. High school students went back today.